hello today we're gonna talk about makeup so as the title suggests today we're talking about makeup that is non-comedogenic so i'm gonna split them into two categories because i'm also gonna be talking about another ingredient that you'll be very interested in the two categories that i'm gonna break it down into is daytime and nighttime these are products that i use regularly so let's start with primer since i am on the oilier side especially during the summer. The primer that I use is the Becca Evermatte primer. This one is the most mattifying that I've ever found and no pore clogging ingredients. I pretty much use this one all year because no matter what time of the year it is, my nose and like right here, oily. Another primer I do suggest though, if you're not oily and you just want your makeup to look smooth, is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing one. That one doesn't have any pore clogging ingredients either. I used to use that one, but it doesn't really control my oil that well, so I've switched to this one. Next, I have two foundations. One is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This one does not clog your pores either. But I use this one if I know I'm not going to be taking pictures with flash because this one actually has silica and silica in whichever product that you find it in, whether it's a concealer, a powder, foundation. If there is silica in the ingredient list, it will flash back. So if I know I'm taking pictures with flash, my other favorite foundation is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging, but it's matte. It's transfer proof, it lasts all day long, and it doesn't clog your pores. And just a side note, if you leave any type of makeup on for a long time, you're gonna sweat, your pores are gonna expand, the makeup's gonna get in there. So it's really important that you wash it off, whether it has comedogenic ingredients or not, but especially if it does. Washing off your makeup at the end of the day is key for clear skin. And again, I don't get flashback with this one because it does not have silica. Next. This one isn't a foundation, it's actually the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops, but I thought I'd mention it because it also doesn't have pore clogging ingredients. This you can use in your foundation, moisturizer, it adds coverage and it adds color. I keep mine in a darker color so that I can use my lighter foundation regardless of the time of year, whether I have a tan or not. Next is concealer, one I have with me when I don't, the one that I use when I'm not anticipating any flash photography is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. That one is full coverage, no comedogenic ingredients, has a decent shade range, doesn't crease, it's really similar to like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but the Born This Way does have silica, so I've switched it out for this one when I'm going all out. And this one is Benefits Boing Concealer. This one's my new favorite. Same benefits as the e.l.f. and the Born This Way Concealer. No comedogenic ingredients, but it's free of silica. So love this one for pictures. And the last one I have here is my setting powder. This one is Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. No flashback because instead of silica, they use talc. I know there's a whole back and forth about having talc in your makeup. I personally will still use this. But again, no flashback, no pore clogging ingredients. And that's it. Those are pretty much the things that I use regularly. Um, but I will mention that anything else that goes on my face, like a blush, a bronzer, whether it's liquid or powder, I'll always check the ingredients to see if there's anything pore clogging in there because I worked really hard to clear out my skin and I don't want all that hard work to go to waste from wearing makeup one day. You can copy and paste the ingredients of whatever products that you choose and it lets you know if there's any pore clogging ingredients in there or not. Remember to always remove your makeup before bed and that's it. Bye!